Welcome to Goya's Garden and Tie-Dice. I'm Greg. All right, today we're doing a 56 by 56 tapestry. It's been folded in half and folded in half again. And I'm gonna mark out to where I'm going to fan fold it at. I'm actually gonna mark it out in two spots. Kind of keeps you uh, in line because you can just do the one line and then not end up right on the corner. So this kind of helps in the long run. And um, we're just gonna fan fold it up. I've been trying to just do one continuous pleat and that takes a little time and I'm just going to work the pleats in and I'll just let you watch and I'll be back. So there's my main line right there, and I think it turned out pretty straight. But I'm trying something a little different this time. I usually rubber band it off first and then put on the sinew. Well, I'm gonna save this line here and then just work towards the right, uh, towards the smaller pleats first, get those out of the way. I usually do the larger pleats first and then save the hardest part for last. Well, this time I'm gonna do the hardest part first. So I just did a slip knot on this just to hold it in place. And I'm gonna try to pleat this out to the end to the best of my capabilities. And I'm using a pleating tool from uh, Boredom with Jen. Uh, she has all kinds of tools. I'll have a better look at the sinew puller here and caddy in just a little bit. But I'm just gonna try to work this the best I can and strap it off as I go. When you're doing these types of uh, fan folds and you're going to incline ice dye, you don't want the sinew cinched down to a white knuckle. Uh, just a couple wrap arounds and a pull and it should be good because you actually want the dye to flow under it but not overtake it. Okay, well, I'm just going to continue wrapping it up and I'll be back.
okay, that's one half. And to me, that was the hardest part. Um, I'm just going to continue up with the pleating and try to keep it nice and tight. But one thing I noticed right now is I should have went another sinew wrap at the tip of it down there. Uh, you'll see at the end, we've been uh, trying to figure out how to not just have a big old round circle there. Actually, Scott and Steph just did a live feed. Scott from uh, Rad Dyes and Steph from Belladonna Dyes. I'm sure you all know them just fine. But just was one of their topics on their last live feed. And for some reason, you tighten down at the end there just a little bit too tight and you get your uh, sinew lines. And that's what we're not trying to get. And I really need to remember that even though it's maybe a half inch or so, the tip of it, when you open it up, it's about three inches. Uh, yeah. So we're going to try to figure something out here or just remember to make it a little bit smaller. And here I need to reload my uh sinew puller and this is the caddy from uh, Bordeaux Magen. It makes loading your sinew puller very very easy. Um, a couple of things when I did the slip knot in the beginning it wasn't tight enough so I definitely have to reload my uh, puller and this makes it very very fast. Uh, I didn't load too much of it on there because my battery started dying. But anyway, you'll see how it goes. Uh, she has some great designs. I really love mine. And she also makes the pleating tools that you see on the left there. It makes things very handy. Uh, that's Boredom with Jen. And I'm sorry, it's new. It's Shop Boredom with Jen. And her husband, John. All right, so it's a good tool to to have in your arsenal. So, like I said, I didn't cinch this one down tight enough. I just did a slip knot to hold it in place and never finished it. So, I'm just going to strap that one down and the one next to it because it came kind of loose, I guess, because I just had one slip knot on there. So, just about done with that and we'll move on to the die table. And the die we will be using today is from Happy Cat, and it's Black Magic. I know the bottle says uh, sea glass, but I didn't have any more bottles, and the sea glass was empty, so we're using it. Um, I have a, in this batch here, I have a two to five ratio. That's uh, two teaspoons of sodash and five of dye. I do that just so the soda ash helps break it up. And with that amount in my bottle, I can get several tapestries done and maybe even a shirt. It goes a long ways and will still hold the brightness of the color. So one part I didn't show here at the very tip, I don't know how that got edited out, but I added a little bit of liquid yellow dye to it. I was thinking, okay, it's going to, kind of popped there in the center. I should have did that last. Uh, I did it, and then, of course, it's a smaller angle right there, so the dye kind of backflowed a little bit. So it's a mixture of yellow and black. <laughs> so, I'm, and this ice is not from my ice machine. I had it turned off since the end of April. Uh, and I went out, and I forgot I had it turned off. I'm glad I did. But I checked my freezer because I froze a bunch of it. And this is actually the last store-bought bag I had. And so I just wanted to use it up, get it out of the way, so I could put on the good ice that the ice machine makes. So I actually had to come back and do another round of ice on it. Um, and also, when I put, added the dye to it, I just did the sinew lines. I was going to use another color when I did it and spaced it out. And I just did the sinew lines 
because somewhere in there I decided I'm just going to do the black magic only. So after the first layer of ice melted, I added a little bit more to where there was no dye in between the sinew lines. And this is my dye table where it sat for six hours before I added more dye and more ice to it. And here we go. I like the black magic. It's orange, yellow, teal, a little bit of black, a little bit of gray, uh, kind of amethyst looking. I really love this color. Um, I wish I would have done it right the first time with the dye application because I know adding it to the second round of ice kind of mucked it up there in the center of it. But I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And you can see what I mean by the big center. So I could have put, actually added a couple more sinew lines on there. And you can see where I pulled it just a little bit tight. But that's okay. I'm very happy with it. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you liked it, hit like. And if you want to share it, by all means, please do. Once again, thank you. And I'll see you next time.